if you remember, I plucked out that troublesome Onan generator that was mounted right in there. Worked good once. Spent money on it. Thing just messed me around. Plucked it out. Got 300 for it. Craigslist. Put in a put a new board in there. Painted it up. Made a little storage area for the grill and stuff. Also got a I slid this battery in there. Gonna make a nice little uh, box for it. Hold down still. Um, these uh, came right through to the generator from the battery. Cabin battery is uh, up front under the hood. So I was just gonna hook that right to that. Give me a little extra voltage when you're uh, when you're not plugged in. You can just run everything on 12 volts. Well, everything but the, of course, the 110 stuff, like the brisk air, AC, and, uh, you know, the outlets and stuff, but all the lights all switch over. You can see right now they're really dim because the battery up front's a little bit, hasn't really been plugged in. So... Got myself a brand new Predator from Harbor Freight. Did a lot of reading up on these. A lot of reviews. All were good. Um, I have already had it running. But I uh, just had it idling in the basement of my old place. And uh, it's unbelievably quiet. They compare it with the Honda. Uh, the Hondas are thousands of dollars, but uh, this I got on sale. It was uh, just under seven fifty. So I'm about to uh, try it for the first time on the camper, and uh, going to be doing some camping. And uh, it's nice even when you're uh, when you're driving and it's hot out. The uh, AC up front doesn't work. Haven't really looked into it. There's no belt on the uh, compressor, so when I had the Onan generator running, it was kind of nice. It was built in. It came with it. And, uh, controls were right there. You could just reach over and start it up. Put the AC on. Just leave it running. Had a muffler coming right out the back. It's kind of nice. It's kind of cool, but. The thing just always gave me problems. So I'm going to mount the Predator back there. Plug it right in and be able to run the AC. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire it up. See how it works. Once you either uh, plug in, you know, at like a campground or something, or plug it into an extension cord, whatever, you're supposed to have a 30 amp, uh, you know, dedicated outlet, which you don't, I don't have at my house. Um, probably going to put one in eventually, but to run the AC and stuff, you need that 30 amp outlet. But anyway, when you, uh, when you plug in or start a generator up, and you got 110 coming in. This uh, 
converter down here just automatically flips over and uh, <clears throat> all the lights you know as you can see they got all bright fans on microwaves on so it also when you plug in or start the generator that has a built-in little battery charger a little trickle charge and constantly charges the cabin battery under the hood and just got to the point where um, I was buying parts for it just to, you know guessing and it had all sorts of circuit boards and sensors that were um, just, just just I don't even want to get into it but uh, it turned out towards the end um, it would start up would run for five minutes and shut down automatically just shut right down would not start back up so <clears throat> I talked to a company online and stuff about it I did a lot of work a lot of research on it and I just got to the point where it wasn't going to be reliable um, for what I wanted it for and the fact that it was basically mounted under the bed um, it's kind of weird you know uh, my wife didn't really like that so anyway enough babbling on predators running can't even hear it we're going to turn the AC on Let's see what happens. Oh. Just gave a little fart when I turned that on. Just a little tiny fart. Did not change idle at all. You see the AC is on. Good thing about these inverter generators. They don't rev up and down. They just sit there and run. It's ice cold. Uh, oh, I'll show the foot. Cool off. That's it for today.